Hebrews, and we decide, we ask how long is the performance and when do we have to be back? And you know, everyone speaks Spanish or whatever. They said an hour. Said, okay. He went, there was a, you know, something he saw on the bus and he wanted to get back. So it's like, yeah, yeah. So here we go. So we're on foot. And everywhere you look are beautiful Art Deco buildings. Here's Art Nouveau, right? See the, the lettering, that fancy lettering, like the 70s show on television has that 70s flower power. Art Deco. <laughs> Just beautiful. The sun was in the right spot. And we're in this you know, very uh, busy commercial area, and we're all these underpasses. And the floors are paved in terrazzo. But they're all cracked. Like you have to like jump over and not fall in the ditch. And you know, really be much where you're walking. Um, and I took a lot of pictures of broken floors. Anyway, we run back because we think the bus will leave without us. And it turns out what we did, we found out later, they had one guy talking for like an hour. So when we got there, we saw the entire ballet. We kept thinking, oh, this must be the last five minutes of the ballet. And it turned out we only missed five minutes. So it was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm glad we didn't miss it. And I, and I had an adventure. OK, so now it's Saturday night. And I had a choice of some paladeras. So of course, I picked the one called Atelier, which means artist studio. Uh, and here we see the name, Atelier. And it's night, and it's lit up, right? It's like 9.30, the time they get you for dinner. Because you know the time you get back from the whole day is like 5.36, and then you get dressed, and you go back out. So there's paintings, large murals there. This is in someone's home. We, we, we step down to the living area. And this is, we had dinner on the roof. And it was so beautiful. It, it was a beautiful moon. And it was just fantastic. Here's the kitchen. OK. So Sunday morning, it looks like I went walking again. Because I, I got into this walking, you know? You're on a bus, you know, you want to start walking. So this is the hotel that was across from me that Randy just just stayed at. So this is inside that interesting double staircase. And here's this, these tall ceilings, more in the ceiling. A, a lovely staircase with the Art Nouveau relief. So it's just so much. Now we're having lunch at the Sevilla. This is nine stories high. And we all had to get in an elevator, 250 people. It took us forever until we got in the elevators and we got up to the ninth floor. Um, of course, while we were waiting for the elevator, there was a band. And I started dancing with them. I bought their CD. You know, <laughs> I love music and I love to dance. And here's this hallway. You can see the stories going up. And here we are on the top floor. And all these windows open up to this. Look at the density of this city. There's, there's no parking garages. They couldn't have cars if they wanted. What's the population? What? What's the population? Oh, a couple of million in Havana. Yeah. Um, it's very dense. I know that's a good question. I don't have the answer for that. But anybody can look on their iPhone and find it out in a second. Just, but you can see it's all in decay and it's sad. So we're all out there taking pictures and we're all squeezing in because everybody's getting the same pictures. And that, did you see how very few cars there were on the road? Yeah, in that last shot. Here I am with Mindy. She's uh, Art Deco Los Angeles and Neil, Art Deco Los Angeles. And they, they're the ones that were pro-Cuba and they've been to Cuba three times already. And here they are for the World Congress. So they're very proud that, you know, they're here for the Congress. And, um, you know, they worked hard to make all this happen. And here's uh, Joanna, Neil's lovely wife. 
uh, who, who they came back to Delray and I showed them around all of Delray and we had lunch uh, right here in Lake Park. As a matter of fact. But there we are. Uh, look at the bottled water. That was co uh, con miner mineral, which is mineral water. And we were treated to flamenco dancers. You know, 50 dancers, you know, through the tables of lunch. Just beautiful. Okay, we're on. Oh, uh, next we took a little walk and went to um, see the Bacardi building, but on the way there's a military museum, like an open air military museum of all the, the firefighting, and it was under construction. And then we get, we see this car, and then we get to the Bacardi building. It doesn't look like much of this view, 1930. Bacardi rum used to be in Cuba. Uh, 1961 they left. And uh, it's now just an office building. But this is like their prize art deco building. One, two, three is vertical, uh, stepping down, uh, lighting, uh, the bandings, the uh, vertical chevron in this case, the zigzag, the lightning bolt, whatever you'd like to call it, the B for Bacardi. And here we are inside, everybody's shooting pictures, cameras everywhere, right? People don't know where to look first. Terrazzo floors, uh, the sunburst for Art Deco. Uh, this is definitely out of focus. Um, the gate. And here we'll see the lovely Catherine Hausman. She's the president of Art Deco New York. And she wears wild outfits, vintage. And the people who go up to her say, well, that's not Art Deco. You know, hey, you're allowed to wear other, other clothes. And she's got her new jeans or something. And now comes in. I don't think that's our town. But she, she must come with some with, with crinolines and pocketbooks. And, uh, she's such a fashion show. This is the only picture I included, I think, of her. But I have hundreds of her in her different outfits each day. Catherine House, New York. Okay, here we have an elevator and looking outside that wonderful window. The lighting. We're still with the party building. Details. Details. One, two, three. And we're still walking in the street. And as I said, there's people everywhere. And um, they told you to bring treats, like chocolate or you know something to give to people. And I had these chocolate mints. And everywhere I saw a baby, and they were wrapped in plastic. Oh, baby, oh, baby. <laughs> Some people looked at me like I was crazy. But they told you to, you know, most people were very appreciative. <laughs> But I, I gave chocolate the whole week to everybody. <laughs> uh, but uh, apparently everybody's with the cameras, everybody's shooting. Okay, so we're on the bus, they take us to this uh, quadrangle, this, this big circle, it's a big monolith, and four of these buildings, four giant buildings, an art school. And there was a sculpture garden and, and the walls and all that. But you have the one, two, three, and the stepping back of the buildings and the relief. And there's four of these. And here's the relief and the rounded corners and more relief. And look how you can see the mold. You know, it needs a nice pressure cleaning, right? Here's <laughs> the, the sculpture garden. The, and here's the monolith, all four sizes, different uh, art deco relief on there. And at that point, we got back on the bus and we were going to see the National Ballet. Because the other day was like the cutting edge the Demetrius Klein Ballet, you know, this was um, the National Ballet. And then they said, well, if you don't want to go to the National Ballet, you can go to the maternity hospital. <laughs> so I'm like, well, you know, I love ballet, but I want to go to the maternity hospital. So here we are, this huge, gigantic building with the crowning sculpture on top. And I wrote it here, Ballet Nacional de Cuba, the one I didn't, you know, I didn't go to that. <laughs> but I did go dancing at 2 o'clock in the morning there. They had an underground discotheque <coughs> two nights later. I got to the building. Okay, so here we're at the Maternity Dad Hospital, 1942. Inside, now, there's actual maternity patients in there. There's, and it wasn't, like, very clean. The hospital. <laughs> it was scary. Because the hospital was old. Uh, yeah, it was old. It was beautiful. And there, of course, you see our friend. Pictures everywhere. 